Okay, so today we're going to do division of decimals by whole numbers. So I have my first example up here. And before we begin, we're going to go ahead and make an estimate. So right now I have 84 and 12 hundredths divided by 4. Remember, you read that from right to left. Um, and so I want numbers that are going to work really well together. So I see 84 and 4. So I'm going to go ahead and just do 80 as my estimate divided by 4. And if I do 80 divided by 4 in my head, I know that that's going to equal 20. Another estimate, if you saw, you could have done 84 divided by 4 as another estimate, and that will also give you 21. So right now we're looking at our answer that's going to be about 20 or about 21, and we're going to use that later to check our work. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our division problem. So right here, I have something that I want you to remember throughout our whole lesson. If a decimal is in the house, and we're going to act like right here, this is our house. If our decimal is inside this house, you have to raise the roof. So you take that decimal point wherever it is. And the first thing I'm going to do is raise the roof, and I'm going to put it in my answer. So wherever that decimal point is in the problem, it's going to go straight up and be in the answer. And so if a decimal's in the house, raise the roof. So kind of keep that in mind as we continue. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this so it doesn't confuse us later. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do division like you've done before. Nothing's changing. So how many times can 4 go into 8 evenly? It's going to be 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. I'm going to bring down my next number, which is a 4. How many times can 4 go into 4 evenly? 1. 1 times 4 is 4. When I subtract, I have 0. And I'm going to bring down my next number, which is a 1. How many times can 4 evenly go into 1? That's going to be 0. 0 times 4 is 0. 1 minus 0 gives me 1. I'm going to bring down my next number, which is a 2. How many times can 4 fit into this whole 12 now? And that's going to be 3. 3 times 4 is 12. And when I subtract, 12 minus 12 is 0. So I do not have to add on another 0 here. My answer is 21 and 3 hundredths. And if you look, that is very close to our estimate. Um, another way that you could check your work is if you take... 21, take your answer, your quotient, and you multiply it by the divisor. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of check our work. And I'm going to ask myself, okay, how many numbers are behind the decimal point in this problem? I've got 1 and 2. I'm going to go ahead and do my multiplication problem now. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 1, 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. And now I have two spots behind the decimal point, 1, 2, 84, and 1,200. So your, um, when you check your work, it should be exactly the same as the dividend, which is right here. Check, and I am correct. All right, move on to my second example here. I'm going to keep that. If a decimal's in the house, raise the roof so we can remember. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my estimate. I have 6 and 42 hundredths divided by 3. Always remember, we're reading it from right to left. So I'm going to say I want numbers that are going to work well that I can do in my head with my estimate. So I'm going to say that's about a 6 divided by 3. And when I do that in my head, this should be a really quick fact. That's going to be 2. So I know that my estimate, my answer, my quotient is going to be around 2. So let's go ahead and do our problem. And if you remember, if a decimal's in the house, raise the roof. So I'm going to take that decimal and I'm going to raise it and put it in my answer even before I start so that I'm ready to go. Now as you do your division problem, make sure that you are placing your answers right above each number. You need to make sure that they are very straight, otherwise you're going to get them confused with your answer. How many times can 3 go into 6 evenly? 2. 2 times 3 is 6. When I subtract, I get 0. 
bring down my next number, which is my 4. How many times can 3 go into 4 evenly? 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring down that final 2. 3 goes into 12. 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. And I subtract, I have 0, which means I am done. So my answer is 2 and 14 hundredths. Again, if I want to check my work, I'm going to take my answer, my quotient, and I'm going to multiply it by the divisor. This is a good practice of your multiplying with decimals as well. I've got 1, 2, 2 in my problem. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. And then I'm going to take my number that I used before, 1, 2, put it back in my answer. And so 6 and 42 hundredths is the same as my dividend. So I am correct. And that's just another way to check your work to see if you got it right. So I'm going to move on to our lesson practice down here. And I just have two problems here. So I'm going to set it up for you. And then I want you to pause the video. Go ahead and do the problems and then check your work when you are finished. All right, and for number one, I got 14 and 45 hundredths. And then for number two, 415 and 7 tenths. And so you can see my work. If you got one of them wrong, double check your work with mine and see maybe where you made that mistake and try again. And this is dividing with decimals with whole numbers.